20 percent down payment has long been considered the gold standard when purchasing a home. Blake Faison of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Premier Properties is here to talk about his knowledge on the real estate market and what other options he can offer you when looking to buy a home. So welcome to the show, man. Thanks for having me back. So what do you consider some of the best options when it comes to financing a home? Well, everybody's kind of been raised to believe that you need 20% down to, for, to purchase a home. Um, but that's typically not the case. Um, let's see, for conventional loans, you can put down as little as 3.5%. Uh, FHA is only 3.5%. You only need a credit score of 580. Um, and then if you're in the military, active or retired, you don't need any down payment at all. Same goes for... Uh, rural areas, small towns, and then if you're on in both sides of the river, if you qualify, there's some down payment assistance programs for if nice. you need them. So, yeah. So, uh, I I know you're saying that you don't have to put down 20%, but what are the advantages if you do put 20% down right away? Well, first off, your monthly payments going to be lower, and then you have instant equity in your home. Uh, you also get out of paying private mortgage insurance or PMI as you'll hear it. Um, which can add up to hundreds of dollars every month on your payment, and you're really not getting anything out of that. Um, let's see, and in multiple offer situations, um, uh, with, where you're competing for the same property, um, an offer with 20% down would be considered a stronger offer there. So then what are some of the advantages if I don't have 20%? If I'm gonna make a smaller down payment, what are some advantages there? Well, you can buy your home faster. Um, first time home buyers put down on average about 6%. Um, and then uh, just more cash reserves when you get there, um, you know, home repairs, renovations, et cetera, uh, closing costs, you know, it's good to have around. Yeah. Um, let's see, you can do conventional loans for 5% uh, with no PMI if you have a good enough credit score, so that's something to look into. And then if you look at my graphic here, uh, we're going to buy a $400,000 house. Um, so one's doing 3%, one's doing 20%. 3% um, down would be about $12,000, whereas 20 would be $80,000. Mm -hmm. It's a tough one to come up with. Um, so homes appreciate about 5% a year. So after, after one year, both houses are worth about $420,000. So your return on investment for a 3% down payment would be 167. And the 20% down would be just about 25. Um, and even if you factor in the PMI there, um, you're yeah. still doing 106 mm. percent. And then also something to look at with that five percent down. Let's say you take two years to save up that 80 percent mm -hmm. down. Um, you know, two years later, that same $400,000 house can be worth about $441,000. So not only are you going to pay more for it, but you also lost out on 41,000 in equity. So how do people find what's the best option for them? Just give me a call. I work with lenders every day. Um, I know packages out there. Um, you know, a few simple questions. We can find you a lender, get you pre-approved, and start making offers on some houses. So then how do we get a hold of you? Yeah, just give me a call again. Uh, my number is 218-329-1095. And my email address is blake at bhhsprepproperties.com. Good stuff, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, stay with us much more coming up right here on North Dakota Today.